The internet is a fantastic place where information is easily accessible, even information about ordinary people. Everything that we post, or that others post online about us, creates a digital trail that anyone can find, whether we want them to or not. All of these details make up our online identity, our digital footprint, something that each of us should value, protect, and build upon. Gina Sello here for the Superspace News Network, reporting to you today on your digital footprint and the problems that may arise if you don't take care of your online identity. Yeah, so I posted something the Empire didn't like. I said, Luke is such an awesome pilot. I wish he was on our side. I guess I was being too pro-rebel because they fired me. I suppose I shouldn't have praised an enemy of the Empire. Now I know better. Next time I will think before I post. I told my boss that I needed to go on a business trip to Naboo when, in fact, I really just wanted a holiday. I guess I shouldn't have made my vacation photos public on Instahologram because my boss saw them. When I submitted my business expenses, he just laughed and called the auditor. The Emperor is most displeased with my actions. It was nothing. I had a momentary lapse in judgment, but someone caught it on video. It was stupid, I know. But now it is too late, and I'm going to have to live with it being in cyberspace forever. I will never dance the Macarena again. Macarena. Bye. Next, we have C3PO, an expert consultant on controlling and building a positive digital identity. Thank you, Jaina. It is of the utmost importance to remember that what is posted online is permanent. We have a responsibility to create a positive identity for ourselves and to be mindful that what we post also affects the identity of others as well. In order to build a positive identity, it is important to monitor your digital footprint by doing a Google search of your name periodically. Learn how to use the privacy settings on social media in order to keep some information about yourself and others private. Remove inappropriate content that you have put online about yourself or others. If someone else has put it online, ask them to remove it. Most social networking platforms also have procedures to report inappropriate content. Make positive connections. Who you associate with online will reflect back on you. Choose your friends wisely. Share positive information about yourself, such as awards you have won or any community service you have done. Put your best creations online. This could include photos, texts, videos, or anything else that shows your best qualities. Building a positive online identity can demonstrate success and lead to opportunities later on in the future. Everything that is posted online can be visible to anyone at any time. What are they finding? Is it information that you would want them to see? Is it information that can be seen by others as inappropriate? Could it affect your life today or in your future? What are you doing to build a positive digital footprint? Remember, the Internet is a big open world and a great place to explore, inform, share, and learn. Let's all remember to respect, protect, and educate.